The man in the moon, a unicorn in the clouds, the Virgin Mary on a grilled cheese sandwich. These are examples of something called apophenia. German neurologist and psychologist Klaus Conrad defined apophenia as an unmotivated seeing of connections and a specific feeling of abnormal meaningfulness. That means that when you look at an inanimate object and see what looks like a pair of eyes, a nose, and a mouth, you're unconsciously trying to make sense of the data in front of you. And it all boils down to humans being pattern recognition machines, particularly when it comes to detecting faces. Think about the reptilian brain, which responds to basic survival instincts like fear. Now think of the upgrade to the brain in mammals with the neo cortex, which manages everything from parenting to higher cognition functions like number systems. Now consider that babies can actually count before they can communicate, which is a big clue on how pattern recognition is hardwired in humans. According to psychologist Stella Lorenko, humans use information about quantity to organize their experience of the world from the first few months of life. In other words, we're always looking for patterns in the signals from our environments, particularly to assess threats. And a face, whether animal or human, would pose the biggest threat from an evolutionary perspective. It would have greatly behooved our ancestors to be able to detect a pair of gleaming eyes or fangs displayed from a mouth amongst the tall grasses in a landscape. The downside is that the same machinery that allows us to easily piece together a threat can sometimes go awry. For instance, neurologist Peter Brueger studied apophenia in patients who had psychotic episodes and began to find spontaneous meaning in random aspects of their lives. His research reveals that high levels of dopamine predisposed his patients to find meaning, patterns, and significance where there were none. One of his conclusions is that apophenia and creativity may even be seen as two sides of the same coin. Which is great when you're picking out shapes among the clouds floating above, but not so great when it becomes a central part of a serious mental disorder like it did for John Nash, a mathematician whose ability to crack codes for the government veered into paranoia, with him combing newspapers for what he thought were secret messages about a nuclear threat. So what about you? Do you hear hidden messages and songs? Do you decipher secret codes on the back of cereal boxes? Let us know in the comments below, and make sure to subscribe to keep the videos a-coming. Thank you.